technical error number one trading against position very common error with people who are not trained trading consistently against the position of a stock first of all most people don't even know what position is what do you mean oliver trading against position right they don't even know what that is most of you are confused which is sad all right that's a very common mistake. Let me try to show you this. Market mistakes. Let me show you what position is. There is There are two moving averages on my chart, all right, on this chart. First of all, we're looking at a five-minute chart, all right? And it doesn't matter the time frame, all right? The blue moving average that you see here, all right, this blue moving average here, this is the 20-period moving average, 20-period simple moving average. And this red one is the 200 simple moving average, right? Now, position is very simple. I'm going to give you a simplistic, it's a little bit more detailed than this. My traders know this, but I'm going to give, since I'm speaking to many people who are not my traders, I'm going to give a more generic definition of position. Basically, if the stock is under these two moving averages, your position is negative. If the stock is above these two moving averages, your position is positive. So negative position here and positive position there. If you are under both of these moving averages, you're in negative territory or negative position. If you are above these two moving averages, you are in positive position. That's an oversimplification, but it will suffice. Do you understand? It will suffice. Okay. Now, what do I mean by trading against the position? If you're under in negative territory, the best odds are to bet down. But every one of you guys who are not trained like to be fancy and try to pick the bottom. Oh, I'm going to pick the bottom. It's going to reverse for me. I'm going to pick the bottom trading against position when it's as close to taking candy from a baby it's just to play the position the way it's supposed to be played if you're in negative position you the majority of your trade should be betting to the downside if you're in positive position the majority of your pos your plays should be betting to the upside these should be bets to the downside and so my traders know that you come in on fat red bars in negative territory. So look at look at the first bar of Apple. Fat red bar in negative territory. I have a match. Negative territory, negative bar, boom! That's like taking candy from a baby. Negative territory, negative bar, match, boom! Okay? Now, the other thing my traders know is when you if you start to get green in negative territory you just wait for red to wipe out green boom boom so we come in negative territory fat red bar boom negative territory red wipes out green red wipes out green here red wipes out green there you see what i'm saying red wipes out look at look red wipes out green right there Red wipes out green right there. Red wipes out green right there. Red wipes out green right there. Just these are all bets that are relatively easy on the down. So now, this one's a little tricky. So I'm going to erase this one because that's above the moving average. So let's just keep it simple and you just wait for it to drop back below and start playing the color game. Look. Boom! 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 Le, 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 le. Some of you know what that means. All right, guys. So, but no, no. S millions of untrained traders. I'm going to find the bottom. They try to get cute. They try to get fancy. Too cute for your own good. Sometimes you can try to be too cute. Sometimes it's not time to be cute. When you are in negative position, it's not time to be cute and think that you're smart enough to pick the bottom. Just play the position. Most of the time, if you play the position, trading, the complexity in trading, 
softens. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, let's get back to the charts here. Here is your, your, tw your 200, right? Your 20, right? Now, when you are above both, you're in positive territory. So when there's positive, when your stock is in positive territory, power green bar, boom! See, power green bar, boom! Power green bar, boom! Power green bar, boom! But somewhere near the 20, not away from the 20 like that. Power green bar, boom! 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 It's like freaking taking candy from a baby, no? My 12-year-olds can do this, and they do. You guys know I have a trading kids program, right? I have over 300 kids that probably can out-trade all of you. They don't overcomplicate things. Oh, Oliver, the, the big green bar is above both of the moving averages I'm buying. Boom! 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 As long as it's near the 20. Boom! They don't overcomplicate things. Do you, know, you understand what I'm saying? But no, no. Everybody wants to try to be cute and short. I'm shorting. I'm going to go short. Look at the red. I'm going to go short here. It's, it broke below the 20. I'm going to go short. Look at this red below the 20. I'm going to go short. Look at this top. I'm going to go short. You know, they get lucky every now and then. But that's not the go-to play. You, so most people don't even know what position is. Most people are playing against position. So think about this. You have no training. You don't have the appropriate amount of capital. All right? You have unrealistic expectations that you're going to win now, and you have no freaking idea what position is. Therefore, you play against position all the time. Like the odds just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, what's the next thing? You trade against the 20 period moving average. So the last one was you trade, the traders trade against position. This one is you trade against the 20 period moving average. Now look at the 20 period moving average of Apple here, right? Here's the 20 period moving average. When that 20 period moving average is rising, you should be a buyer. When it is declining, you should be a seller. When it's declining, you should be a seller. But in this scenario, the 20 is rising. Oh, no. But here comes most traders trying to be too cute for their own good, playing against the 20. Let me tell you something. You will get, you will win every now and then playing against the trend, against the 20 period moving average. But the 20 period moving average will dominate you over time. If you are consistently playing against the current, God help you if you're consistently playing against the 20. You're going to lose your entire financial life doing that. So playing against position and playing against the 20 period moving average. Two powerful technical common errors. Do you understand? Losing more than one bar. How many times have I talked about this here on this channel? I can't even count. If you consistently lose more than one bar in trading, you're toast. You can have the right training. You can have the right amount of capital. You can even play in the right position. You can even play with the 20 period moving average, but if you don't know how to protect yourself when during the times that it doesn't work because nothing is 100%, all of that's for naught. The right money is for naught. The right training is for naught. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can have everything right, but if you get this one wrong, you're still done. Let me tell you what, well, let me talk to you 
about what I mean by, by losing one bar. If you buy this bar, boom, you, you should not, once, if the stock breaks that bar, you're out immediately. Move on, all right? Lick your wounds, suck it up, be a man, be a woman, understand that everything can't be a win. This is life and move on. Don't sit there and pray. Don't hope. Don't stick your head in the sand like an ostrich and think that when, hoping that when you pull your head out, the situation's different. Hope is a dangerous thing in trading. In other parts of life, it's okay. But in trading, hope is a dangerous thing. And somehow untrained traders, they hope in negative territory and they fear in profitable territory. They have the whole freaking game backwards. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not supposed to hope in negative territory. You're supposed to fear in negative territory. You're supposed to hope that you gain more after a game. Oh, I'm up in the trade. Maybe I can get more. You should hope in positive territory. Oh, no, but the untrained souls out there, they fear in profitable territory by snatching at their gains. I, I fear that it's going to disappear. But when they're negative, they hope that it turns around. They hope they recoup their loss. They hope the situation improves. They've got the freaking game backwards. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't lose more than one bar. All right? Boom, you buy that bar, there's your stop under that bar. You buy that bar, there's your stop under that bar. You buy that bar, there's your stop under that bar. You buy this bar, there's your stop under that bar. Do you understand? Don't lose more than one bar. You buy this, this, and let me just tell you this. If you can limit your losses, all of them, almost all of them, almost all of them, to one bar, your wins are going to be eight bars, 10 bars, 12 bars, two bars, four bars, one bar, 40 bars, 20 bars, but every single loss is one bar, one bar. You're already a profitable trader. You're a profitable trader with the one bar loss rule because you don't need skill to capture a four bar run, a six bar run, a 10 bar run, a two bar run, a three bar run. You don't do anything to produce the run to the upside. The only thing you do is cut when you're supposed to cut. It's the stock's responsibility to go up. It's your responsibility to kill the game when the stock is not performing properly. Traders that are untrained, they get their roles wrong. They think they take responsibility for the wins. It, it's not you that's winning. It's the market. You can only cut the loss. The mar if, a, if Apple goes up $4, what did you do except pray? Nothing. You didn't throw billions of dollars at, the, at Apple to make it go up $4, did you? No, all you did was pray. You did freaking nothing. But if Apple drops a dollar and you cut it, and now it's down $4, you did something. Your job is the loss side. The stock's job is the win side. Make your losses, most of your losses, limited to one bar, and you're going to be just fine. But most of you don't do that. Most of you don't do that. All right. One last one, and then we're going to go to some questions. One last one. All right. And this one I don't need charts for. So I'm going to bring you back my face. Okay. My face. That's right. Last one thinking. That's right. Most common error is thinking. Thinking too much of yourself. Thinking that you know. Thinking that you... Thinking is your worst enemy in trading. Professionals don't think. Oh, that surprises you? Well, it shouldn't. Professionals don't think. They've left thinking. They're beyond thinking. You ever hear the term in professional sports, in the zone? Yes, there's no thinking in the zone. When a high-level professional is in the zone, he's not thinking, well, let me put my left foot here, and then let me 
plant my right foot about eight inches over here. Let me put my left arm out here. They're not thinking. They're in the moment. It's spontaneous. It's unconscious competence. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unconscious competence. You have unconscious competence in your life every single day. So you can, guys, some of you ladies, you are in a car. I've seen you. I've seen this. I've seen you ladies. I've seen you do this. Don't deny it. In a car, one hand on the steering wheel. All right. Cell phone here. Driving down the highway. Putting lipstick on in the, in the mirror. Unconscious competence. There's no thinking about the mechanics of driving. Wait a minute. Okay, so I accelerate this amount. I hold the steering wheel here. All right. I look to my left. I look and you're not going. That's in the beginning. You have left thinking. When you first started to learn how to drive, it was all thinking. Wait, wait a minute. When do when do I look back again? When do I put the right sig turn sig? Now you do it effortlessly. Guys, you get up from your desk while being on the cell phone, on a call, talking to someone, walk to the kitchen, open the refrigerator, grab a bottle of water, come back, sit down. You didn't go over the mechanics of, okay, I walk three steps here, make a right at this wall, walk 12 steps to the kitchen, make a left into the kitchen. Then I turn 100, I turn 90 degrees to the left. That's the refrigerator. I, I put my right hand against the handle. I pull the door open. In the door, down at the bottom section is the bottle of waters. I grab a bottle of water. I put that in the left. You're not thinking about that. But look at a baby who's just learning to walk. And you can see their deliberateness. They're on the couch and they see the coffee table just a little bit there. They have their left hand on the couch and they, they want, they see something on the coffee table they want, but they're unsure of their step. Are they going to make it? And they go for it. Maybe they fall down. Now you just reach over to the coffee table and grab what you want. You're not thinking about it. We have unconscious competence in our life all the time, but how many of you have ever thought about the fact that you have to raise yourself to the level of having unconscious competence in your trading? If you are thinking, it means you are confused. It means you are incapable. The baby thinking is incapable of doing it fluently. The person learning to drive is incapable of doing it fluently. Their thinking is the proof that you're confused. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. Let's see, who am I gonna pick here? SK Prince, all right, SK Prince here. Now, I don't know if you're married or you have a girlfriend or whatever. Well, whatever, let's say you're married. Do you, are you married, SK Prince? Wanna tell me real fast? But anyway, let's say SK Prince is married, all right? And we have plans to meet each other. I've never met his wife before. Okay. And I said, ah, ah, uh, SK, what's up? What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, is that your wife? All right. If SK thinks, wait, wait, Oliver, let me think. Um, she was my wife when we left the house. Um, she was my wife in the car on the way here. I think she's my wife. Dude, SK dies. Do you understand? SK, rest in peace, SK. When you know, you do not think. I know that's my wife. If I were to ask you what your name is, you don't have, wait, let me think. What is my name? What, what, did, my, what did my parents name me? But if I were to ask you, wait a minute, from where you are, how many miles from where you are to the Statue of Liberty in New York City? Now you've got to think. 
because you don't know. So thinking, the very act of thinking is proof that you don't know. Now, let me take you here, traders. If you don't know, should you be risking your family's money? Um, family, I don't know, but I'm going to risk the family fortune. If you risk my money when you don't know, you get fired.